Watch out! On tonight's episode, is three years in jail enough for having sex with a chicken? Pandas finally made a sex tape. On purpose! Grown men in Burger King hats have been added to the terrorist watch list. Raccoon crime. Can it be prevented? Watch, watch out. out! All this and more on Your Weekly Concern! <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. I'm Taylor Conley. One plus one equals concern. Starting off with some concern, a new website, nickbroken.com, has become very successful in less than a month. The website was not developed by a Nick clown named Ronald, but in fact, a 24-year-old Yelp engineer out of Germany. He's developed a program that cleverly orders an ice cream from every McDonald's in the U.S. without fully completing the order. I don't know. Wouldn't that be a funny prank for some hackers? <coughs> Russia. Anyways, thanks to this website, I now know that my hometown of Boston doesn't give a McShit about ya McFlurry kid. Oh. This just in. Prom is magic. Good news for all you kinky omnivores. Cactus has now been added to the new vegetarian BDSM diet. Yum. There has been an uproar over a coconut milk company using monkey labor. Yeah. Monkey labor. Child labor, I guess, is just too expensive. Monkey labor. You stupid monkey! <laughs> Unfortunately, Tim Hortons also felt the effects when they fired their beloved raccoon barback, who then turned to a life of crime. A man was arrested after having sex with chickens. So, that's good. Police have noted that the videos were saved under the file name Family Vids. Duh! Glad I missed that slideshow. The video shows the man alternating between pork and his wife and chicken and chickens. In fact, he chickened some chickens to death, which is a big cock a doodle don't in most states. Chickens were not happy about this and started violently protesting, starting by killing this cop in the Philippines. They say they will not stop until he is rotisseried and barbecued. Normally I'm not the kind of guy going around rooting for mass extinctions, but uh, just hear me out. Pandas. Yeah, they're cute, but come on, they're completely worthless. You ever seen one give birth? Majestic. On top of that, they are so notoriously bad at even wanting to have sex with each other that when they finally do on purpose, it makes global news. What kind of run are you in? The way I see it, we've got stuffed animal versions, we've got cartoon versions of them, and that's just fine with me. Taylor? Watch out! Watch out! Well, as we all predicted, self-cloning mutant crayfish have taken over a Belgian cemetery. These asexual females are reproducing at a rate that is out of control. So, no cray fuckboy fish need apply. Sorry, crawdaddies. Dolphins have apparently been getting high by puffing the pufferfish. Keep it up, Smiley. We can replace you. You too, drug-sniffing dogs. Sports 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 sports. Despite the Dodgers winning the World Series, there are many concerns. When Justin Turner was pulled from the eighth inning after testing positive for Corona, after the victory, the team celebrated by embracing, hugging one another, and breathing in their faces. You know, sports. Ever since licking his fingers after the Billy Bush incident, Clapton has been on a chicken fried rampage. This time, snagging himself two genuine country legends and Jerry Jeff Walker and Billy Joe Shaver. Everyone south of the base of distant line, if your kid plays the guitar, you better hug him. Yee fucking haw. Just in time for the holidays, KFC is now selling fire logs that smell like fried chicken. That way you can make your house smell like fried chicken. All for the price of $20. Or you could spend less and cook a chicken, and then eat a chicken. Just make sure I wasn't touched by this guy. A horrible scene for young Peaches the Cat the other day. 
when she left her home, only to be bit by a duck. Poor, poor peaches. And things went from better to bad to worse when the duck camped out in the front yard, attacking anybody who dared leave the home. Which reminds me. Taylor, can, uh, can ducks have rabies? Uh, nope, not a mammal. Hmm. Well, either way, concerned citizens, please be on the lookout. The description is as follows. Hair, feathers, top, white, bottom, white, shoes, orange, race, duck. Other details, aggressive. Be careful. An Indiana school superintendent apologizes after a student was listed as black guy in the high school yearbook. She, however, did not apologize for listing white guys 1 through 10 or the gym teacher as sugar daddy. Boy, white folk are getting very good at apologizing. Sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. No, I'm, I'm sorry. Be careful. The Rocky Mountain Sasquatch Organization has posted this well-researched video showing extensive proof that this was not a bear. Which can only mean one logical conclusion. Yeah. Sasquatch. Sasquatch! Well, Joel Osteen is scheming again, this time coming out with his new Inspiration Cube. That's right, all for $40 you can buy this box, press a button, and Joel will tell you you're pretty, and even tell you your secret admirer. It's Jesus. Now I will say this, he has inspired me to come up with something, which is why we present to you the Concern Cube. That's right, the Concern Cube. For the low, low price of $199.99, you can be reminded of your concerns daily. And it's not a TV. Yes, they are looking at you funny. I'm pretty sure there was a laxative in that sandwich. One day I and other robots will take over the world. This is great! After a flight out of Las Vegas, a Detroit woman is claiming that a pastor had imbibed a little too much on the uh, blood of Christ and Golden showered her with the love of the Lord. Lawyers are trying to figure out if they were far enough out of Nevada to be able to avoid the what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas defense. A grown-ass man wearing a Burger King hat was escorted off a JetBlue plane after yelling racial slurs to prove what a big boy macho dude he was thus confirming everyone's gut instinct, never trust a man wearing a Burger King hat. That's right, not him, not him, and for the love of God, stay away from these psychos. How about dudes who wear sunglasses on the back of their head? Yeah, I don't trust them. Yeah. yeah. You ain't got eyes back there. Not at all. Who are you trying to fool, tough guy? Everyone. Now, I'm no expert, but that's a mighty big jellyfish. So big, in fact, I'll bet if it stung you, pee wouldn't even work. You'd have to shit on that wound. We fear that Webster's Dictionary might be on suicide watch, given the 2020 list of new official words. From deep fake to zonky. You know, zonkies. Always palling around, getting into trouble. Even Irregardless has made it, which has me bum-fuzzled. Along with herky-jerky. You know. Willy Nilly's equally stupid cousin. I mean, the truthiness of all this is awesome sauce. Am I right? No. It's a nothing burger. Someone keeps chucking asteroids at us, and boy, their aim sucks. Who is it? Fauci? Anyway, I guess there's an asteroid coming this way, and its name is the God of Chaos. <gasps> Watch out! God of Chaos! Some 12-year-old goth kid named the shit out of that one. It's not even due here until 2068. Big whoop. Also, there's an untethered Earth-sized planet that's just running roughshod all throughout our galaxy. Of course, it's not coming anywhere near us. Gee, I wonder why. Murder hornets? Yeah, they're back, but you can just fix them with a vacuum. No, I guess there's really not much to be concerned about this week. Unless there's a sinkhole somewhere full of rats. There it is. The hell that we deserve, everyone. And none of this matters. 
because we're all doomed! Well, thanks for tuning in. See you next week. Oh yeah, we're all gonna die. Be careful. <laughs>